Hi guys, so today I want to make uh, hopefully kind of a quick video uh, using some of the items I've been picking up recently. Um, if I have any links in the description box, they will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were to purchase any items through those links. I do want to let you know, Tonic does have a mystery bag available again this uh, for Wednesday, which it's already launched, so I'll have the link in the description box for that. I didn't pick up last week's only because... Um, well, I wasn't aware this was going to happen, but I did get a duplicate already. So for me, I don't know if I'm going to pick one up this week or not. But if it's something that you haven't picked up yet or you haven't been able to get one yet, definitely jump over there and grab yourself a mystery bag and see uh, what you get. So um, normally it has like a large die or a couple, you know, medium sized dies and then a t uh, several smaller ones. Stuff like that. You've seen the videos where I do the... Um, the haul videos. And what else do they have? Oh, they also have some more blister pack type um, shaker things like this. And this is a set I think I picked up last week and the week before that I picked up more basic sets. Um, so today I'm going to use one of these and I think I'm going to use this one just because it's a little bit shorter and you can see more of the background. This one's like a tall latte glass and this is a large mug, which is pretty cool. But again, these have like blister packs in them so that you can put different things or it has more dimension than just like a flat shaker. But once you're done with those, you can re reorder some. They have refills, but you can still just use the dies to make your own shaker, right? It's going to be flat with the acetate, but I think it's really cute. But that reminded me, I have all these fun things from the last time that um, uh, IO Stamps had their sale for uh, coffee stuff, if you guys recall. Then I had ordered quite a few things. So I do have this cool background. This one's called, I think, Coffee Argyle. I haven't checked if these are in stock, but if they are, I'll have links in the description box. So I have that nice big background stamp, and then I have some sentiments here that might go along with the coffee theme. So I'm not sure if I'll use them, but I do have them here. So uh, like I said, I think I'm going to use this one. Let's open this up. And by all means, pause the video, go get your uh, mystery bag if that's what you're mostly interested in, because they do sell out. And they've been launching things a day early, like even their... Um, Weekend bundle sometimes will be available on Thursday, even though they're a Friday through Monday thing. And they've been launching their Wednesday deals on Tuesday. So let's open this up. It's so cute. So again, there's two dies in here. There's the outer and then there's this um, inner shape. So you can make like a frame. I suppose you could do a whole background. Well, we'll do that in just a minute. But we need these guys. And maybe I'll keep it flat, but for today I'm going to go ahead and use one of these guys. Um, like I said, they have refills of like their numbers, their whatever kind of shakers they have. Ooh, I don't want to do that. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. I thought it might, you know, I'm saying with plastic, sometimes if you bend it, it'll make like a white stress line, but it didn't do anything. So I'll show you. It still looks perfect. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Okay. So I'm going to keep one of these guys out for now. And I was thinking the other cute thing that you could do is like if you have a friend that's into beading or stuff like that, you can put like beads in there and that way when they get their card, they can open it up and get their little beads out if they want. I'm assuming there's a way that you can probably back this with foil. Do you know what I'm saying? Like once you cut it in, so the back of your card where it's on, if you did silver foil, you know, just foil. Or colorful, I have fun foils from like um, Daiso that they sell. And that way they can peel it from the back, right? They just cut into it and then take out whatever is in there. I think that's a good idea too. But super cute. So something like this, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. Something like that there. Um, I'm going to get some paper, which I probably should have already had out, to do a background for our card and then do the all the other pieces. So let me get some paper and we'll think about what I want to do here and I'll be right back. some craft paper cut down. I do have a card base from some pearlescent cardstock that's just your eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. So a standard A2 size card base. And this piece of paper that I'm not sure that I cut right because <laughs> it looks weird to me. I don't know why it's, it seems smaller than it is thick. Let me try to square that up real quick. Uh, it looks like this edge isn't quite right, but I think this was a scrap paper that I just cut, so I didn't quite get it. Well, let me see. By four. Yeah, there's some extra there. Something just didn't look right. Does that look better? Maybe. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, something wasn't right about that. Okay, so I'm going to take this, and uh, I'm just going to, I think, ink this up without putting it on a uh, acrylic block. And I keep misplacing the acrylic block that I have for this. It's a big, huge acrylic block that has like a handle. That's also from Impression Obsession, but I picked it up like at an expo before. So I don't know if you can see on this, it has like little mugs and actually that tall mug would match this a lot better, but I'm just going to do what I feel like doing. So there's that. And I want to use some brown ink and I think Friar Brown is out here from the other day. So again, I don't mind it looking distressed. So I'm just going to put this on here. And whatever happens, happens is how I feel about this one, okay? So 
I'm not looking for perfection. But if you are, then I would definitely use a precision press or something like that. I just want to make sure that I have enough ink. I guess I'll go. It's a six inch square um, pad here. I'm just going to smooth that down with my hands. And all the way down here. And I'm probably going to do a little distressing too. Oh, that came out a lot better than I thought because I was like, I kind of want it looking distressy, but the cups themselves look kind of distressed anyway. Look at that. Okay, I would um, wipe this down. I don't normally just wet my rubber stamps just because I, I don't know, I'm opposed to that for some reason. <laughs> but again, you can just wipe it down. I have a little, oh, my water evaporated. So and I just wipe it down. But if you want to run them underwater, that's up to you. Uh, so we have that. And then let me, I guess I'll get this because I don't know where my paper pad is right now. And we need our brown rubber. I'm gonna go around the edges just a little bit. Again, you see that greenish color that comes off that? Ugh. It's literally from <laughs> Walnut Stain. And it's green undertone that I never really noticed until now. And okay. So I'm gonna put this aside just I might do a little bit more. Um, let me get some papers because I haven't decided what I'm going to cut the um, cup out of, but okay, I'll so be right back. This might be weird, but it just popped into my mind to do the mug or the cup in black, just so maybe it's a little more masculine. I don't know. So we have our little cutie pie that we don't need right now. Again, really all I need, well, two of these, but one like this, okay? So just all black, and actually I'll just run it through right now. Hopefully, I have a pile of stuff sitting here, you guys. Oh my gosh. This card is working up really fast because I was just thinking, okay, it's going to take me a minute. I mean, this is super quick. So anyhow, I'm going to run this through. Now, if I was doing this by hand, because let's say I ran out of those blister packs, I would do this in my background color because I'm going to put this behind the blister pack. Look at that. And it even pops out those pieces. Now, you can keep that piece in there. I'm going to keep it in the, the next one. But... Um, you can pop it out. That's your background. Do the same thing with an acetate. Just run it through. Get yourself your acetate, okay? But for now, I need to do the next one with some tape. With the black background plus this guy on the inside. So I can make my little frame that goes around this thing. And where is my tape? Where is my tape? Where is my tape? Um... This is odd. Okay. Ooh, I, no, I need to find it. I was going to say, I can probably just hold on to it, but I better not. Let me go find the tape. Guess what? I didn't find the tape, but I told you guys I always stick tape to my um, tripod legs, so I have plenty of tape here <laughs> without actually getting the tape I need. I'm going to cut this little piece off just so I can hold on to it a little closer. And basically, that's all you need. Whenever you're doing any kind of shaker, you just need the two pieces, the one that's going to make a frame for you. Um, and if you have large foam, like if I wanted to do that and make a shaker shaker and I had the foam like from Diamond Press, you could run that through. You just have to make a frame, like the outer edge that's going to sandwich in between your shaker pieces or, you know, so you can make your actual card. But I'm going to keep, not that piece, but I'm going to keep one of these pieces, like I said. And just, just pop back in there, but you don't have to. I mean, if you don't want to do that, then don't. So we have that guy, that guy, this guy, the frame that goes on top, and this all gets sandwiched into our, um, oopsie, what am I doing? What am I doing? No, yeah, that's how it goes. That seems odd, though. Let me think, let me figure this out, because I don't see why the edge is showing, so I must have done something wrong. Oh, so very wrong. <laughs> Just kidding, let me figure this out. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, perfect, actually. All right, okay. This needs to come through here. So that works out, actually. So I don't need, well, I still want this background. So <laughs> that works out. So what we're going to do next, sorry, guys. See, I had to figure that one out, is decide where we're going to put this. And we need this thing, just this centerpiece cut out. I've never used this kind before, so I had to figure it out. Where do we want our cup? Let's think about this. I want it kind of down lower. And then have a thing, and then... 
Yeah, I probably will put it down here. Well, yeah, we'll put it down here. Okay, somewhere. So let's do that. And I'm gonna stick it more down towards the center. And I've told you guys, whenever you have a full piece of paper like this, um, always try to use a newer folder in your marquee. Of course, if you're using a different cutting tool, it doesn't matter, use whatever you like. But I'm gonna put that through there. All right. So, like I said, if you were gonna do the silver foil behind there, I would obviously cut through both layers because whoever gets it is gonna have to be able to pick the silver away from here, but I think it works out. You have to do a little a little uh, finagling and you'll figure it out. Uh, okay, perfect. And then this goes here. There we go. <laughs> and then I did need this anyway because I want the black in the background, but I guess if you don't want the black in the background, you don't have to, right? You can just have the background showing for now. But let me um, see what I want to put in here. I think I'm going to put some beads or something cute because it's puffy. So there's, you know, you can do something more dimensional. So let me go grab some th something to put in there and I'll be right back. So I grabbed some beads, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. Because what I want to do is make sure that this is all going to line up how I want it to. And I suppose you don't have to cut this out because if you don't want to line it up, like right now I'm going to make sure. Actually, what I can do is go ahead and put this together. How about that? I was like, you can just put it a black piece of paper or whatever the color is that you want underneath there just a square or a rectangle try whatever <laughs> whatever little scrap you have that'll work but I'm gonna go ahead and put it together like this and then I'll use the whole cup so what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the backing so I don't mess with this too much you can pour them in here I guess and then bring this to it or pour the things here and then bring this on top of it so I guess however it is you want to do that um, I would say this is like a quarter inch thick maybe I don't know. So I have this thing with all kinds of uh, beads and I thought it'd be so cute if I did send this to a friend that, you know, but you have to put a good little amount of beads in there. Or like little trading packs. How cute would that be? I'm going to do a little mixture of seed beads here. Actually, some are seed beads and some are, I guess, maybe an 8-0 or something. They're a little bit bigger. And then if you had anything else that was kind of small like chips, that'd be really cute. And that's just my bead kit that I've had forever. So <laughs> there's that. And then I'm going to pop this on top. Like I said, for this one, I'm basically just using this as a background. I don't really need this to be exact. Okay, I'm going to put some glue on this. But again, you all know how to make shakers. If you were making a shaker from scratch, you would uh, just use the two dies to make your little shaker. Okay, so here's this. So I think today's set that they're selling, I just want to put that there just so I kind of have an idea where I want to stick this down. Uh, let's see, I get around here. Is that good? Okay. I'm literally just doing that just so I can stick this down. Um, is it like a kid set, I think? They have like, like kid elements, I don't know. Okay, there's that. And I'm gonna get that point. I guess you could distress this whole thing to make it a little more manly even, that'd be cute. Again, I'm kind of mixing this manly in. But you know what? There's a lot of guys that enjoy beating projects like this. So let's see here. Mostly like loom work, huh? Okay. This is adorable. Because <laughs> it just looks so sleek and pretty, you know? Okay, I'm going to hold this down for a minute. I suppose since we're holding that down, we can hold everything down. Let's put this on here. Since I'm just smoothing this around here. And let's put that there. And right in here. So if you like that just poking through at the bottom there, you can definitely just leave that there. I'm trying to see about... I think I'm going to fill it in. And I'll put this here. So, okay, I'm going to hold this all down, massage it just to keep everything down, and I'll be back. It's too funny. I was like, okay. So, and one of the pictures, like, on this, you know, as you're looking here, you can see that they have, like, like, cute little, um, like, curly cues. And maybe they're kind of out of vellum because they're very light looking, which would be a very cute idea because it makes it look more like steam. But I have this sitting here. I've had this sitting here since, I think, the other day, maybe one of my busted out videos or something. I had these little curly cues. So, I'm like, oh. I can just put that and actually just like that would be kind of cute but I think what I'm gonna do is cut it down a little bit so let me 
So again, whatever dies you have that have curly Q fun things like this, I would definitely use. So let's say here, I might round it out a little bit nicer. And then this one here. I mean, look how perfect that is, seriously. Um, I'm gonna round it out just a little bit though. So I did a kind of a rough cut. What is this stuff stuck on here? I don't know. Oh my gosh. And then I use the other one too. This is, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's been sitting here for so long. This works so perfectly. Okay. There came out of a card kit that had a bunch of die cuts and things and had a bunch of little curlies like this. Oh, you know what it was? It was the Freeform Friday hat. Oh my gosh. Love it. Okay. And yes, it's gold, but it kind of goes with the paper, with paperwork, <laughs> with the colors of the paper. And, uh, why not? I suppose if I wanted to, I could do one like this and then maybe even stick this one to that one or underneath. But I'm just going to make it its own thing. Ooh. All right, I'm going to glue this down. And I suppose that means our sentiment can go like on the inside. Which is just fine. So I'm going to hold this down. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And then we will, uh move on okay sorry if you couldn't hear me because i know i had my head down for this most of this part but look at this and then you have actual something in there i think that would be lovely if people can just again scratch it out from the back i think that would be really really cute um what i would do if i was going to do that is probably run through the foil just the outer right so it looks nice and foil and then maybe cut another frame and put the frame so that way it's kind of backed and looks nice and then the person can still dig through the foil <gasps> how cute would that be and then the card isn't completely destroyed because, you know, I mean, it'll be open. But <laughs> it's not, instead of ripping it off this whole thing right here. How cute. Okay. Let me let that dry a bit. I'll pick out some color to stamp and we'll be done. Okay. My kids are just on break and someone threw something down the stairs to, like, get my attention, I guess. A little toy. <laughs> like, she let it... I'm like, that has to be Miranda. Okay. Oh, you use this. All you need is love and coffee. Oh, I'm telling you, their photopolymer stamps smell like, like coconut. Like, I don't even smell the photopolymer smell from it. It's just like a coconut scent. Okay, so check this out. I still have a sentiment on here from another day. All you need is love and coffee. I have a quick dry ink here in noir black, and it looks like this stamps pretty well on this paper. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I made a big mess out of inking that up so I have to be careful <laughs> and hopefully that's straight and again I don't have my stamping aid under here so I really need to <laughs> make sure this is pressed on all sides oh love it all right guys so there it is go get your uh, mystery bag if you haven't done that if you're interested in that and Again, they have some other shakers and blisters on sale this uh, week, or today. It's today, <laughs> and going into Wednesday, right? It's a Wednesday deal. But um, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them, any comments, and I'll try and catch up with the rest of my comments. But how cute is that? All right, guys, I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.